Hi, my name is Andres Dobart and I would like to introduce you to our brand new master's degree program in Sustainable Heritage Management. Wherever you go in this world, you are surrounded by various forms of natural and cultural heritage. May it be in its tangible form as artifacts, monuments, sites or landscapes, or in its intangible form as songs, stories, dances or people's attitudes towards the past. But what is heritage exactly and what is not? How to deal with contested claims to heritage? These are some of the theoretical questions that we are going to discuss in classroom sessions. But there are also the many practical applications in heritage management which make this field such an exciting area to work in. How do we register, protect and communicate heritage? And how can we use heritage as an asset in sustainable political, economic and social development? For example, as a tool in building secure and inclusive societies or, more pragmatically, in the tourism industry. These are just some of the challenges that we are going to tackle during field visits to museums and heritage sites and where we meet stakeholders and professionals. Heritage management is highly interdisciplinary and throughout the program you'll meet scholars, researchers and practitioners from very different disciplines. Anthropology, archaeology, history, cultural studies, history of science, aesthetics, but also museology and digital design. The program qualifies you to analyze and respond to the ethics and the legal aspects of heritage work by providing you with a solid theoretical and methodological framework. But the various courses will also equip you with practical skills which will enable you to tackle the various challenges of heritage management in your later professional life. With its clear focus on applicable know-how, you will gain the necessary competences for working with heritage in very different contexts, such as museums, heritage and planning agencies or city councils, but also in international organizations, private enterprises or civic organizations. Because there are so many different career paths within the field of heritage management, you are encouraged to specialize within one subfield during the program's second year. Here you could, for example, take the opportunity to apply your theoretical knowledge through an internship at a museum, a heritage agency or a private enterprise in Denmark or abroad. The program is based at Moskar, our newly renovated campus location south of Aarhus City, where you find unique opportunities for heritage studies in a beautiful setting, not least with the newly opened Moskar Museum. Here, Aarhus University students have their own exhibition lab. You will also be part of a thriving international community with students and scholars from all around the world. So, if this has piqued your interest, you can read more about the program's content, structure and rules at our master's portal.